Um, I'm going to monitor my prognosis my prognosis wow did i look like any more of a dumpster fire in this video i look horrendous <laughs> oh god i'm looking myself in the viewfinder for the first time during the entire span of this video and all i could think is wow hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey welcome to the place where i talk about whatever i want so today, I haven't, um, let's just say it's been a while since I've whitened my teeth. I've been slacking and I don't know if you can tell, but <laughs> this is not cute. It's not looking good. It's not looking right. It's not looking tight. My teeth are so yellow. It's disgusting. And I need to fix that now, preferably now. This is going to be like an updated teeth whitening routine. I think the last time I filmed teeth whitening routine on my YouTube channel was when I like first kind of got into YouTube as a hobby. So it was like maybe three or four years ago. Since then, I have deviated from the previous syringes that I was using, more so because I think that um, the chemical in the syringes might have had a potential expiry. I think that the chemicals in the syringes might have had a potential expiration date. So I noticed that when my teeth were starting to yellow, they weren't whitening as well as it did before and the charcoal powder only did so much and I ended up using all of it so um we're moving on to something else I will say that this method is a little bit on the pricey side but if you potentially use honey or you can find some coupons online you could potentially get uh these products for pretty cheap. My place where I love to go and get things for cheap is Amazon. I'm using this method more so because I've done it before and I trust it and it's giving me super fast results. So I will be using my handy dandy Crest white strips. I'm actually going to be pairing them with an LED light. I bought these separately for a purpose, which I will explain. These Crest white strips, they are 42 strips in total, so a total of 21 treatments. And I actually got this on Amazon for about $49.99, but I had a $10 coupon, so I actually got these for $39.99. And if you go to any one of your like local drugstores or anything, these can be pretty expensive. They run up to like maybe most expensive that I've seen is $72. The ones that actually came with the light were about maybe $80 to $90 where I live, and I'm not prepared to spend that much on teeth whitening treatments. So I actually got this little LED light from My Smile on Amazon as well, and this one was $22.99, but I had a $7 coupon. So I got this for around like maybe give or take 15, $16 after taxes and everything. So a huge steal and a huge deal with both of these. Let me just open this up for you guys. Okay, on the inside looks like this. This is where all of the treatment strips are on this side. And then it just comes with a little pamphlet of instructions and how to use them. Each one of the Crest white strip treatments comes in a little packet like this and you can just tear off the top and the strips will be inside. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do it today because I forgot that I'm not supposed to brush my teeth before doing this. And I already brushed and I already flossed and I already mouthwashed. So we're gonna be doing this tomorrow. Inside the pack, there is a long strip. I hope you can see that. It's like shiny, I'm sorry. It comes with a long strip for the top of the teeth and then a shorter strip for the bottom. You just apply them onto your teeth and you wear them for either 30 minutes to an hour. I prefer wearing them for an hour for the most bang for my buck. And then after that, you just peel them off, 
chuck them in a bin and you're good to go. My reason for purchasing this LED light is because after doing some research, which we all know I'm a nerd, so I'm constantly doing research. I found that the reason why a whole bunch of dentists and um, orthodontists and things like that use LED lights with teeth whitening is because they help to break up the stains. The light waves penetrates the stains in between the particles of the stains and um, breaks them apart into their molecular form and so that way the peroxide from the uh, strips can really get in there and get the job done with lifting the stains. I'm going to be using it in combination with the strips so that way I can again get the most bang for my buck. When I first open the packet they come like this. There's like a little mouthpiece and this is the apparatus that shines the light. This is what it looks like. This is the apparatus that shines the light. There's a battery that can go in right here at the back. And then here's the little button to turn it on. And then once you turn it on, it has an automatic timer for 10 minutes. So it shuts off by itself. This is the mouthpiece. It's just a rubbery mouthpiece, super pliable. And it has like a little thing here, which Kind of snaps on to the front of can i do this on camera give me a second i'm like <laughs> struggling there's like a molding that goes around it and you kind of have to maneuver it a little bit but once you get it done it looks like this then you just turn the button on and then pop that in your mouth and you're good to go for 10 minutes. Since I'm going to be leaving the white strips in my mouth for about an hour, I will most likely be pushing this button six times because there are 60 minutes in an hour. I will be starting this tomorrow. I'll be documenting my progress as I go, trying to show you guys like how much my teeth have whitened and in how much time. Depending on the sensitivity that peroxide basically inflicts on my gums or how sensitive my gums are to the peroxide after my first treatment because it's been a while since I've used it and I know sometimes like my gums do get a little sensitive after using them for a while. That'll kind of dictate whether or not I decide to do it every day or every other day. I'll most likely be doing it every other day just to avoid really exposing my mouth to so many chemicals at once in one sitting. That's that. Yeah, hopefully this helps somebody. And if you decide to do this method, comment down below and tell me how it worked for you. Hopefully you end up with a smile that could launch a thousand ships because that's the only thing you really want. And for me, all I want is my teeth not to be yellow. That's it. I'm going to I'm going to monitor my progress throughout the entire span of this teeth whitening journey. All I want is for my teeth not to be yellow anymore. I would like for my face not to look like a block of cheese when I smile. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, thank you for watching up to this far. So, bye. <laughs> So just to quickly walk you through my routine, remember not to brush your teeth. You can see me here prepping my white strips and getting my LED light ready for insertion. So here I'm just making sure that I carefully peel off the strips from the plastic. Make sure not to get the sticky surface on your fingertips too much or else you'll rub off the peroxide. And just make sure that they're securely um, fastened. <laughs> securely fastened or sticking um, to the upper portions and bottom portions of your teeth and then I just fold the strips back so that way they're not flapping around everywhere insert my light turn it on and just make sure to fold my lips over my lamp and wait an hour so here I am one hour later trying to Take out the mouthpiece. Be very careful because you're gonna drool a lot. And there's me 
drooling really really gross I know sorry so here I'm just peeling off the strips and then these are just good to chuck away in the garbage can and then I just go and brush my teeth so here's just one more time of my routine fastening the mouthpiece to the lamp which for some reason takes me forever I'm not sure why getting my strips ready just taking off the top peeling them off of the plastic, adhering them to my teeth. That's the word I was looking for, adhere, not fastening. <laughs> adhering them to my teeth, folding them over so they don't stick up or out when it's in my mouth. And then I'm just going to insert my light and wait for an hour. So here I am, later, one hour later, pulling the mouthpiece out of my mouth, peeling off the strips from my teeth, and then just chucking them away in a garbage bin when I'm done. And then I just brush my teeth with regular toothbrush and toothpaste. Yeah, so just brushing my teeth. Nothing special here. Still brushing and dancing. <laughs> yep, so my teeth are brushed and that's pretty much it. I just do that every other day when I want to uh, whiten my teeth. One thing I noticed with the mouthpiece is that um, you have to make sure that your lips are folded, are like hugging the mouthpiece very very well otherwise the insides of your lips will kind of get into the mouthpiece and block the light from reaching a certain part of the peroxide if that makes any sense i hope that made sense so um yeah you get the the picture now so i guess i'll just uh stop talking and let the uh, video play also thank you for watching So what's the fish? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just really quickly wanted to wrap up this video with a really short outro i am ready for bed so please don't come for me i just finished like my nighttime routine so i know i'm looking a little greasy in the face right now just wanted to show you guys how many of the white strips that i use and how many treatments i still have left over so again they come in this box here and the instructions are inside it took me a couple of days i'll be honest i 
lost track of how many <laughs> days it took me. I was trying to make sure that I was whitening my teeth every day, kind of like a before bed type of thing. So that way I would like brush my teeth and then go to sleep and then wake up and then have shiny teeth. But um, I get busy sometimes and sometimes I have forgotten to do that. So the first four days it was like one after the other. And then once it came to day five, I forgot and then it kind of went haywire from there. So I'm sure that once I edit all of this together, the number of days will be up here on the screen somewhere. My teeth are white now. They no longer look like cheese, which is great because I was actually walking around. I was walking around looking like that. Oh my gosh. Like I said in the beginning of this video, this box came with a total of 42 strips, so 21 total treatments. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve treatments still left in this pack. So I have only used a total of. Come on now, quick maths. <laughs> nine, nine treatments. But uh, yeah, my teeth are white now. I love it. This is usually how I like my teeth to be white. I'm sure they could be whiter if I kept using all the treatments, but personally, I just like them to be white enough. And then once they start to become yellow again, I'll go in with like a couple more strips and I'll touch them up. Maybe whiten them a little bit. Yeah, that's going to be the end to this video. So it's a little costly, but in the end, I feel like it's totally worth it because I find that using Crest White Strips keep my teeth whiter for longer compared to the other traditional methods that I was using. So you're definitely getting a bang for your buck, I would say. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't like the video, be sure to roundhouse kick that like button, comment, subscribe, roast my bonnet if you feel like it. Hope to see you guys in my next video. My shiny teeth and me. Okay, I gotta go to bed. Good night. Okay, bye.